Alright, we are live! Welcome! Welcome to a Saturday stream. It's Saturday already. Holy moly. It's... It's been a week again, I'm not gonna lie. As it doesn't... Isn't it always though, you know? It's just... It's just life, you know? <laughs> it actually hasn't been that bad of a week. Um... Pretty average, I'd say, actually. Alright, anyway, we're gonna be working on the red truck build just a bit. I wanna just do some little touch-ups here and there and just kind of see what's going on and sort of plan some things out more so than anything. And then we'll get on to showing you the add-on with the schematic brush. But as per usual, before that, let's get in to some build reviewing. We got some builds to look at, even though it's been a day. So, uh, yeah, let's start things off nice. Um, oh, I forgot to tweet. tweet. There we go. That quickly. Here. All right, uh, let's see what this is. Nice little steampunk. Oh, I do like that. That's actually really neat. I like that they made it a Minecraft figure and not just like, a, you know, a classic like real person or whatever, because you're, you're Minecraft. Why would it not be like a Minecraft person hologram? You know, that's, I like that. That's, that's neat. That's a good touch. Um, nice little inspiration picture, I won't lie. Um, oh. Let's, let's see if we can get a better view of this. Maybe it's a 360 render, hopefully. Yeah. Oh, no, it's just a good old, good old render. Oh, we're gonna go into the skull. Oh, man. I'm sorry it's so small. Oh, there we go. Yeah, there we go. We can make it a little bigger. Nice. Yeah, that's a pretty good build. It kind of, uh, the tops of the, the mountains remind me of that other build we saw yesterday with the, uh, the inverted mountains with all those spiky leaves coming off of them. I forget which build it. Let's see. You know what? Let me see. Um, really quick. If we can find it or not, because it is just up here somewhere, right? Uh, sorry. So fast. Oh, we need to let it load. Uh, you know, I don't think we're going to find it. I'm not going to lie. Uh, Assassin's Creed. Oh, yeah. You know what? I think it was... Nope. That's, that's a nice car, though. Nice. I'm making a car. <laughs> All right. I don't know where it is. Let's. We'll, we'll not worry about it too much. All right. Uh, let's get back to where we were, which is right here. Hmm. Nice. Not bad. What is this? Oh, is this another render of that same build? Yeah, this is that same mountain. And this is... Ooh, I like these ghosts. That's cool. That would be a cool texture to see in-game. I'm not going to lie. That would be really cool to see in-game. Like, just a clear glass-like texture like that that you can see, like, the... Yeah, that'd be really cool. Um, gosh, that reminds me of those, uh, I don't know why it reminds me of the Lord of the Rings ones, but that's, they, they don't even have, like, a ghost ship. That doesn't even make any sense. But that reminds me of Lord of the Rings for some reason. Uh, the green ghost people. Sorry if that's a spoiler for you. <laughs> if you haven't seen Lord of the Rings at this point, you don't want to. <laughs> Ooh, I like these palm trees. These are really good palm trees. Won't lie. They got, they got sort of a natural look to them, and the leaves actually go sort of up before they, they sag back down. And there's sort of, yeah, leaves that go straight up-ish. I like that. That's good. That's good. Good stuff. Uh, I'm going to like that just because of the palm trees. No other reason. Yeah, I don't want to like it because of that. Um, I'm sorry. Palm trees are good. I'll give them that. They probably didn't even make the palm trees themselves. Oh, look, another render of that. That? They they like rendering this build. Ooh, that's a cool pick. That's that's cool. That's a cool like phone background right there. I like that. Last one real quick. Eh, I like this one the best for sure. A lot of Photoshop and stuff going on there. All right, let's get into this stuff today. So uh, let me get rid of that. Um, I actually uh, really quickly wanted to see if I forgot got something because I think there's supposed to be something on this and I need to go to DeviantArt to find out and see that. Go to my profile. Uh, go to my favorites. And yeah, we're going to see. Yeah, this is all the the nice inspiration for the Maggie collab, but then, of course, the truck. So what I wanted... Oh, we could put Chevrolet on there, I guess. That's the only one that I have a uh, back of the truck picture of. I'm trying to see if there's any on the side there. There isn't. Uh, that's interesting. And it doesn't seem to have a handle. I 
that's something I just noticed. Like, it doesn't have, like, you know, the, the pull to lay the, the bed down, the back bed down. And that might actually be because it unclips and swings out. I think that's what this one does. I think it literally, like, swings out to the, to the right there. Sorry if you can't see my mouse very well, but... Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure it does. It's yeah. There we go. We'll use the, we'll use a picture. It, the, this swings out this way instead of swinging down. You know, I'm pretty sure that's what's going on there. Um. Oh wait, here's a front of a a random one. Still not very helpful. Really hard to find the back of a one of these trucks. Not gonna lie. What is the red Chevy pickup? Let me um. Ah, uh, nah. We're not gonna look it up. We're not gonna work worry about it too much. Um. For this sake. Uh, I think I want to add a handle because, uh, well, it doesn't really make sense for me not to, I think. Like, mine doesn't really look like it swings out, and it's not really far enough to the edge that it would reasonably do that. Like, we'd, we'd basically just have to move all this over. And I think it's easier just to add a handle. I'm not going to lie. And we could, we could just we could grab this, stay centered with the rest of the build here, and probably, like, one of those spots there. Yeah. Just kind of do literally that, maybe that, boom, done. All right, and then if we really wanted, I could do Chevrolet. Let me um text. I forget what the um I forget what the I need to go to the Arc 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 wiki because I'm pretty sure he has he's the one with the uh, the text tool. Uh, Da, 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 brush patterns shape text tool there it is all right i just needed to see the uh yeah this so block size text okay that's all i wanted to see when i typed slash text can i do help there oh no that still didn't help i had to go all, all the way to here just to figure out the stupid logic of it so block size text okay so uh, text. We just we'll just use um, iron block. Get that and then what? Wait, wait. How do you spell Chevrolet? Uh, it's it's over here somewhere. All right. So uh, I'm gonna pretend like I knew how to spell this to begin with. I wonder if making it caps counts. I'm actually not sure. Um, and then the last part is text. Oh, size. Whoops, I forgot the size. So let's do like two. What happens? Do anything? Uh, I think maybe we have to be selecting something. Here today. Here. And no facing. Wait, what? Oh, not facing the right direction. Oh, let me let me try GMask getting rid of that. See if that doesn't. Didn't seem to work. Um, font, fonts. That's not not a thing. Why? I guess. Uh, we just do slash font slash font. Slash slash font. Uh, nope, that's not working. Hold on, I don't know why this text this text tool is definitely not working how it's supposed to right now. Um, text. Unless the Archinax wiki is just not up to. I doubt that though. So font doesn't really matter, I guess, as long as it actually works. But it doesn't seem to be working. Let's just do stone. Let me actually type in stone just so that make sure. Uh, let's do like ten and let's do test. Oh, oh, test worked. Okay, okay, okay. 10 seemed to work. Let's let's do something bigger with uh, Chevy then. Go back up to the, the right command here. There we go. And let's do, let's do like seven. There we go. Okay, okay. That looks not good, but um, Font. Let me let me see if I can just let's just look at the the fonts that exist here. So, got. Uh, I think impact might actually work. As long as it works, okay, yeah. Uh, I don't know how to list the fonts. 
on list. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Oh, okay. There we go. Now we can see the ones we actually have on the server. All right, impact. There we go. Um, we'll we'll maybe try something different, but impact seems like it might work. So let's try the same. Chevrolet seven. Nope, that ain't it. Uh, let's do. N. Chevrolet. All right. I mean, if this were shorter, this would be great. Actually, this would probably work. Yeah. Shrink it down. Um. About like nine <laughs> or like eight even I guess just kind of do one one at a time nope that ain't it eight and nine probably don't work watch relay yeah oh wait nine worked oh whoops did not make that okay uh the C looks a little awkward but probably cool Chevrolet. There we go. Uh, you know, that's not bad, actually. The T is also a little bit awkward, just because that, but we can do that. Eh, there we go. Um, Again, maybe just, like, shrinking it down. So grabbing, like, the top two blocks, moving them down, and then grabbing the top bottom two blocks, hopefully. Move, and then... Boom. Looks like... Yep, that's it. That's that's it. All right. Uh, we could probably make the letters closer together too. Actually, that that takes one at a time here, or I guess chunks at a time. Boom, boom, move. That there's only one gap. All right. So second position is correct. Move. Uh. That. <laughs> Go. Go, boom, move. Oh wait, nope, that didn't work. Undo. Those two. Ah, flying too fast. Post one, move. There we go. One, move, boom, move. Oh nope, nope, nope. That moved to five there. Move. Uh, that's fine, and that's also fine. There we go. All right, now let's put it on the truck. But we still have that in the right spot, so let's just go boom. Oops, crap. Nope. Boom. Um. Actually, I want to grab this more precisely right here, so that I can see where the center is. Go here, and then let's go center. Two. These two are. The we'll just copy it from right here. Copy. Uh, let me actually do it at the bottom of the arc. Copy. All right. Now let's put it on the truck. Bottom of the R. Paste minus A. We might need to go one lower. Yep. At least. Oops. Undo. Nice, perfect, nice, Chevrolet. All right, and then we can just go ahead, boom, get rid of that. All right, cool. That's all I wanted to do with the back of it. And now we clean up the terrain a little bit and see if that's any good. Um, so I tried to put an equalizer on. Um, DLC media player, but it's probably not going to work as much as it should yet. I don't think I've tuned it right to this kind of stuff. <laughs> but there we go. All right. Uh, so basically, I just kind of want to go around and make sure that everything is in place where it needs to be, and uh, kind of plan out what I'm going to do next, because I honestly don't know if I need to do anything more with the terrain, or if I want to. It does it does kind of fill itself in, but I think it needs something more, and I just don't know what that is yet. Um, maybe some more greens? I don't know. Um, so, 
I guess what we can do is actually go back to this, and I think I can up the inspiration, yeah, that I had for some of the Fall Forest stuff. So really what I want to look at is, yeah, some of these other ones. So I think really what I need is some smaller stuff, probably. It seems to be, and that even if it's, even if it's green, I think just smaller stuff is what I need. So like the ferns that I had, um, for my profile picture, those, those would actually be really good. Let's go ahead. Oh, no, wrong one. Um, so I think these, these will be actually really helpful. Um, so we're going to go profile, rebuild, yep. And we want these green ones. Um, yeah. This is what I want, the fern. Just need to know that. I probably could have figured that out without it, but that's all right. Um, here we go. I could just, just as a test, slash SBR, add name. Underscores, I don't know why it's not showing me the, nope, no schematics. Why is it not showing, there we go. There we go. Gonna, yeah, fern. First star. Nope. Is there only one? Oh, there's only one. Okay. 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 Fair enough. Um, definitely want randomness in that. Offset. Let's do like negative one to uh, five or so. All right, back. Uh, offset, yeah, that doesn't matter because we did that one. Uh, placement, bottom, blue air, false, replace all, definitely also false. All right, and let's save uh, and let's call it burn or call it large. Burn. Okay, and let's go ahead and bind that one schematic and see what it looks like okay so yeah that's interesting we could probably do uh a little bit more than that let's do let's go back to it sbr uh edit um range and we want to do like negative one to negative like 10 i think let's go ahead save um large burn F. There we go. Okay, and let's see what that looks like. Start getting a little bit better. Uh. Hold on. Uh. Show. Preview. True. Oh, dang it. Okay. That's the. Yep, it's too big. Okay. Uh, I think we could do more than 10 even. We could do like 15 to 20 even, perhaps. Um, so I did, did F1, I guess. Oh. All right, let's edit this one more time. Range, negative, uh, let's do like 17 to negative one. And back, save, large, fern, minus F again. And all that's good. Bind it one more time. Let's hope that it kind of goes a little long sometimes here. Yeah, like that. That's kind of what I wanted. That way it just kind of makes it look a little more random. So let's undo last four there. And let's sort of go again. Um, just kind of randomly put these around. Hopefully it gives us a good... You know what? I think, I think we need it to be... A little deeper in general. Um, leave that one like that, and that's it. Um, the range is just not, it's not doing a, as rangy as I want it to be, you know? Uh, so SBR, edit, whoops. Um, range, and we're gonna do negative 20 to negative 10. All right, back, save. Large, a fern, minus F, find that, that's what we want, okay, just want to plop a few of these around, and hope that it looks pretty decent, be good to go. Um.
Nice. Alright, I think that'll do. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's already giving it more life. Yeah, we definitely need a few more just smaller, medium-sized things in there, you know? Uh, we could maybe modify some flowers or something to put in there later on, I think. That, that'll that definitely add to the sort of foresty look to it. And we have that fern saved now, so if we want more later on, we can definitely put them in there. But for now, I think that's enough just to, as a test, and uh, yeah. So... Next on the list, uh, let me go to the regular truck here, and let's yeah, let's go find this out. So today I just kind of want to show you guys the add-on uh, for Schematic Rush and sort of how it works and what you can do with it and such. So uh, in order to do that, we're actually going to make a few uh, just like bushes, I think, would probably be easiest because I don't want to go, I don't want to do anything hard. And I just kind of want to use some stuff that I already have. Um, like we'll just find some pine leaves, and work with it. So, um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna just go for it. We're gonna we're gonna see what happens. Um, I'm gonna make some little bases, and then we're gonna make some chunks with like slabs and stuff coming off of these bases, little trunks, I guess you could call them. Uh, we're gonna make like three or four, and that's probably plenty. I don't want to go too crazy with it. Just want to show you guys how this works. Um, but I do want to make myself some bushes, you know? Why not? Um, they're always useful. We could probably go a little smaller with some of these. Just kind of make it a little more simple there. Let me uh, buy this one as well. Yeah, okay. And then let's go with slabs for the rest. So just search slab here. And I think, um, yeah, let's do spruce. Alright, I think this is going to be alright, hopefully in the end here. I could probably put in a few rooms down lower, and touch, run off of this bad boy. Sort of do my own things. Alright, yeah that works, it's probably a little bit too crazy, but that's okay. Those other ones a little, a little less uh, long branches. Uh, let me go ahead, move this one. Uh, Fifteen blocks out. All right, so we got a little bit more room in between these guys here. Use. Boom. Okay. I think that'll work. Oh, right. We forgot the last one here. I most forgot you. Got it. Alright. Yeah. So once we do this, I'll show you how the grid, grid tool works. So, first we just, we are going to actually use the regular old schematic brush, which is SVR. And as you can see, there is this little little handy dandy thing here, SBRG, and that is what we're gonna be using in just a second here. So first we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna clear all that stuff. We're gonna add one, name, and let's just type in pine. Uh, and let's see what these leaves look like because I think they should be okay, hopefully. Um, but I just want some spiky looking leaves essentially right now. Um, now let's do a star and let's go at random, random. Um, let's go negative one to one and back go ahead. Don't want to include air, um, on bottom, actually let's try middle. Um, let's see what that looks like. Find that. Okay. Yeah, that's not bad. All right. Kind of gauge what's actually going to happen with these leaves when we paste it now, because we had the preview on. That's helpful. Not going to lie. <laughs> Especially in this early part here. Yeah, perfect. Really gives us a nice way of a little bit more uh, in 
that. I think I want to go ahead and do SBR. And we're going to go and edit this to be oops, uh, a bit different of a range. Let's do negative 2 to 2 instead of 1. Back, bind that instead. And hopefully that will yeah allow us to put it up a little bit higher spots here. That's sort of what I want. And maybe lower it's two. There. There. Oh yeah. Volume there. Alright, and let's do some of the other ones here. Let's see what this looks like. Go ahead and lower down in here. There we go. Boom. Right. All right, I think that one could go a little more in. Right. Uh, I don't like that one. Let's let's switch to the next one. There we go. Yeah. Um, and if you don't know what I just did, I just hit uh, the button that it takes for me to switch my offhand. So instead of my tool switching to my other hand, uh, it switches schematic. And for me, it's F. I think it's normally like, uh, G. no, I don't remember what it is, like R maybe, I don't know. Uh, I, I have honestly no idea what the default is because I haven't used the default in so long because I think the default one is really crappy. Um, it says you have 98,000 views. Wow, that is, that's a lot. I don't, I feel like uh, uh, maybe you're a fan then <laughs> or maybe the uh, the thing is overestimating it. I don't know what's going on there. I would hope it's the that you're actually just a fan. <laughs> um, there's no way the internet's lying, you know? <laughs> right? The internet's always right. All right. Um, yeah, let's put that there. Oof. Nope. Don't like that one. Do that. All right. There we go. Wait. Nope. Spot for that. Right there, yeah. There go. Really not wanting to put that one lower. Nope. Um. Man, ah, getting too close to it for the preview to work properly. All right, there we go. Okay, a couple more on this one and then we're good to go. Okay, so now all I really need to do, so I'm going to go ahead, uh, I'm going to make a new grid just be so you guys can see. Um, I'm going to actually move this over so that hopefully the grid is just right where it needs to be. Uh, we're going to go boom, boom, uh, move 15 or so. Nope, oh, oops, I screwed up, I guess. Boom, boom, move 15 or so. Um undo that and let's move it uh like 13 a little bit more accurate all right so now what you're gonna try to just make the grid facing this way so we need to just hit f3 real quick so we're facing uh south east um so let's go ahead and face south and hopefully it'll go to or actually i think let me let me go ahead and do sbrg really quick because i don't remember all right so yeah we're facing east right now uh, we want to expand to our right, yep, and we want the size to be about 7 or so, but before we do it, we're going to go ahead and stand a little bit closer to these trees here, so that our grid's hopefully over our trees. Alright, and actually what I want to do is just go boom, and boom. Why didn't that work? Uh, oh because I have SBRG on. Okay, so it doesn't let you do world edit while you have SBRG, that's fair, okay. So instead of doing that, we're just gonna estimate it. So size, we probably want to be like 10, okay? Uh, the rows, we want one, two, three. So let's just make each, let's just make it three by three. That seems to be the, do it. And then we can make more of these if we want later on. Um, and of course we don't have to make them right away. Um, so the floor material, we're going to go ahead and, uh, yeah, the, the, all that's fine. And let's just see what happens. Oh, oh, 
Did it do it right? Nope, it didn't do it quite where I wanted it to. Um, well, that's unfortunate, but that's okay. We can pretty easily just move it onto the grid. Let's just go boom, boom, and let's uh, hope that the grid is actually big enough for these. Don't actually know if it is. We might be easier to just move it onto that grid. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Let's go copy, and let's just see if it works better on this grid, actually. This is basically the same grid, just bigger. Let's go over here, undo. Say, um, yeah, that works. So go ahead and get rid of that. Whoops. There we go. Ah. And let's move these into their plots a little better. So obviously this, this would work better if I had uh, planned it out a little bit better, but that's okay. Move, five. Boom, boom. Move, seven. Really work, but you know what? We're just gonna. Oop. Okay, uh, I went back down from uh, down, but we're good. One down, one hundred k. Interesting. I don't know what to tell you there. <laughs> Seems like it's just uh, messing it up. And maybe I don't know how you could go from more to less. That doesn't really make any sense. But yeah, sure, whatever. Um. Anyway, let's do this. I gotta move this one. Boom, boom, all right, and then we just move it. Yeah, uh, yeah, four, okay. Now, we go ahead, grab our tool here. Let me go, uh, uh, let me actually just grab a different tool. All right, so let's go SBR, D, and we want to go to select. All right, so we use, as you can see, selection tool, select schematics with the right clicks and left click when you are done. So, right clicking. We're gonna go ahead and right click on this one. Yeah, we got it, we got it, we got it. And then we right click on that one. See, it? yeah, it puts a little border around it. Right click, right click, and then boom. Schematic saved, use grid selector to use them. And so now we go SBR, G, export, oops. And we want to go ahead and name these, let's call them, uh, Bushes underscore, or just bushes, I guess. There we go, four schematics saved. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and do SBR. And we're gonna add some schematics. We're gonna get to our name and hopefully, if we type in bushes, yeah, you can see it starts with zero, but that, that doesn't really matter because we're gonna go through randomly through all of them, the ones we just made with the grid. And uh, yeah, random, random, uh, it doesn't matter for now. Uh, bottom and Find. Bada bing, bada boom. And we got a bush. And obviously this could be even faster if I had done this first one in the actual, the right spot there. But as you can see, yeah, we got, we got bushes we can place now. We can, we can go put these in the, in the truck build now. We can go, uh, let's warp, uh, truck train and, uh, yeah, it's just, just pop a couple of these in here. Just, just randomly, you know, just, just boop. The little tiny, tiny bushes around, you know, just to give it some stuff, you know? Why not? We just made them, and I said I was going to add more to the terrain. Why not loop it back around one more time? <laughs> I just want a few of them, not too many of these. These are these are very standout-y uh, bushes, I think. And I mean, there are some plants that are this small, so it kind of makes sense to me, honestly. A little fungus plant, we could probably, like, put a little them together like that to make a bigger one or two you know boom boom ba -doom. yeah this will look all right all right and with that i think we're uh at a pretty good spot to start winding down the stream for today um, but before I end the stream, uh, I want to share some stuff that I, I recently made because it's some of my favorite toys that exist. Uh, and yes, it is Lego. Uh, but, uh, before you get discouraged, it's Lego Technic. <laughs> um, all right. And with that, I think let's get to that because here we go. So, let me, um, make sure that, uh, this is angled down where it needs to be. To actually see 
what is going on here. So that level-ish. Zoom all the way out. Okay. So first one to show this bad boy. And uh, if you can't tell what that is, uh, let me just hit this uh, button on the back here. Boom. And I know uh, it's not all in frame there, unless I show it sideways, but it can also, of course, grab its gun. <laughs> oh, I like these. I love these things. So the reason I put the camera like that is actually for the other one, or the main one. Whoops, this gear just popped off the back there. That's okay. All right. Um, and for that, uh, let me actually fold this, this guy back up real quick. Um, actually, you're supposed to put the head down first so that it keeps it locked, and then put the, the legs in. It sits there. Ready, ready for deploy. <laughs> oh, that was beautiful. All right. Anyway, that's that's the last time I'll do that. Um, this is definitely my my second favorite one. I'll show my least favorite one now, and then I'll show the best of the bunch. So these are all in a like series that came out in two thousand one, I think. Um, there's the I, I call it the pop up droid. I know it's not actually called that, but you actually get to to push his nose in. Oh. Come on, come on. Do it. Oh, oh, he's grabbing himself too. Alright, well, it didn't, didn't pop out quite as quite as much as it used to there. Alright, let's try this one more time. Well, I think I need some stronger rubber bands on this bad boy. Newer ones or something, because that did not work very well at all. Alright, anyway. I think if I, maybe if I do it this way, watch. We put him, whoops. Put him sideways it'll probably be better easier to see it anyway so ready oh there we go all right well yeah this is that's kind of why my, this is my least favorite one anyway it doesn't work as well as the others um yeah anyway well the other one doesn't work very well either but uh oh yeah i almost forgot he's got he's got his little uh little tools or whatever here too that he can i almost forgot about it. i'll actually do that because i'm gonna leave him uh unfolded actually thumb move here there you go uh, grab his tool there you go all right try to keep him unfolded oh crap well whatever i'm just gonna throw him aside he's tough it's fine and i believe the droid did the side as well bring in the main attraction <laughs> so this can't tell what it is oh oh that that happens a lot actually right about it's one of the um, destroyer droids. Let me put this over here, and hopefully he doesn't roll off. But ah, oh, it didn't didn't pop up the rest there. There, he's supposed to pop up like that. All right, I'm gonna actually uh, adjust this hopefully and see it better. All right. Oh. Now, this is this is honestly the hardest one to fold up. So you're supposed to do that, and then you push down this little red thing. You plop this up until it clicks hopefully yep there we go and then you push the red button down so that pops up and then you can fold this up and lock it into place and i guess technically you're supposed to do the arms before that but it doesn't really matter what do that so oh they're very finicky as well there we go pop the arms into place and he's ready to go it's all folded up and then this is probably the best orientation to start him from is sort of like where his legs are pushing up against it and then you can just you know, pull him Oh, thank you, Macro. Um, anyway, let's see if this one works this time. Ready? Love that. So it's so cool. That is just so fun. I I, I don't know. I don't care what you say. <laughs> yeah, this is so cool. I love this. I love this set. And this is definitely the highlight. I'm gonna do that one more time just because it's so fun and you know gives me an excuse to play with it. So we push this up so that it sort of locks in there. We gotta sort of push that up so that it helps it lock and then push this down legs up everything's locked there boom push these up push that back oh see yeah that's that's the finicky part it yeah yep yeah, yep yeah, yeah. there we go all right now he's ready to uh, roll into action <laughs> oh geez these little these little gun parts are definitely the most finicky part for sure all right let's get him back as far as we can hopefully so that he Ah, oh, 
I didn't work that time as well. Oh, that's okay. All right. Well, anyway, watch out for the battle droid. Uh, he's going to come and get you and shoot you down with the shield. Thank you all for watching. I am sure you know how the buttons work down there by now, so do click them as you please. And, uh, yeah, if you guys want to see more uh, cool Lego Technic sets that I have put together, old ones or new, I have at least one more to show off that I can show off. Um, but if you don't want to see that, do let me know as well. I do like to know if people like to see this stuff or not. But regardless, I'm going to end it with this. Ah. Oh. Dang it. Nope. I'm, I want to try that one more time. Pull the legs back in one more time. One more time. Here we go. Oh, oh, wait, wait. Yes! So cool. All right. Thanks again for watching. Video wrapped.